Hello friends, Cat Bohm. Many moments, mindfulness more often. I'm not sure I'm going to remember who said this quote, my apologies. But that if you're at the end of the, if you're at the end of your rope, tie a knot and hang on. It's kind of cute. Have you ever felt that in life? Maybe there's a lot going on with parenting, partnering and working. And it feels some days that we're at the end of our rope. There's so much happening. It also feels to me like so much always happens kind of almost in a theme, <laughs> kind of accumulates. So when we're at the end of our rope, tie a knot and hang on. It's kind of cute. For me, I just visualize almost, you know, a character from cartoon happens to be Tarzan hanging on and swinging through, <clears throat> pardon me, the forest. I feel playful when I hear that quote. That yeah, sometimes it, life is out of balance, out of whack. I'm barely hanging on. And yet I'm probably doing better than I think. So often it's the attitude of life feeling overwhelmed, stressful, busy, fatigued, uncertain. That attitude for me enhances the situation. So tie a knot and hang on. Yeah, be playful with what's happening when life feels out of balance. But then I invite you to check your attitude. That might be the most important part of practice at that time. Now, if that doesn't make sense or resonate, checking the attitude of the mind. Traditionally, in the, the, how the Buddha taught, this would be called dukkha of dukkha, <laughs> meaning life is overwhelming and then we add something else to it. We add an attitude. Oh, I can't get through this. I can't believe it. So it's dukkha dukkha. So this attitude, some ways for me that I notice my attitude kind of kind of be poor me. Oh, I got so much going on. Poor me. I don't feel like doing that today. I'll get to it tomorrow. That can be some. Others for me, when I have a lot going on, I wake up early and I'm like, okay, I'm going to get it done. I'm going to answer all those emails right now. So I'm heightened. I have pressure. Drink a cup of tea. Go right on the desktop. So sometimes my attitude can really swing between kind of overwhelmed, sinking to high alert. Pressure. Do it now. Now that those are my examples kind of how I notice different attitudes in the mind. So does that make sense for you? It's not necessarily that we're feeling overwhelmed, maybe with an inbox that has a lot of emails to reply to, or your calendar has a lot of meetings scheduled. It's how we're relating to that. What is your attitude towards it? And often for me, when I check my attitude, it invites a bit more space. I'll notice this subtle voice of how, pardon me, <clears throat> I'm meeting this situation. Okay. It feels like there could be more that I want to say on that, but I think I'm going to leave it there. So this cute little quote, when we're at the end of our rope, tie a knot and hang on. <laughs> Again, I hope you heard me giggle. I hope it brings that kind of lightness towards a life situation that maybe you too visualize, you know, a person with a rope kind of swinging through the forest. So yeah, it's a great analogy, but for me, I want to say again, it's more about the attitude. How are we with that present moment situation, which could be maybe a week, maybe you have a, a busy week at work. Tying a knot and hanging on might not be the best resource to get through. Look at your attitude. And of course, offer many moments of mindfulness. Many moments just to step away from the computer. Put your phone to sleep. Do not disturb. Go outside. Drink your cup of coffee. Drink your cup of tea. Just that moment. Thank you, thank you for listening.